Hello, my name is Lee Tracy. I'm with Industrial Equipment of Houston. We have the ability to test regular M, micro M, E110, 70D40, 5011s, InSight, and all the FireEye controls. We're going to test a micro M series FireEye, but before I do, I'm going to talk about what we have here. We have an MEC120 chassis an MEUV1 amplifier card that has a 0.8 second flame failure response time and we have an MEP100 programmer in position and I have it directly wired in to a UV1A3 scanner. I have a torch in the background and I also have a test light connected to the ignition transformer and then onto the gas valves for whenever we start off. So the, the key to diagnosing a fire eye is understanding at what point in the sequence we're failing at. So I'm going to start off, power up the tester, operational control light, interlocks are made, and I'm giving the control signal that's my ignition transformer. I have 10 seconds to light off to prove flame. And it's in auto. My signal's good. Real quickly, I'm going to test my gas valves. And my gas valves are on. And this control is working well. However, if there were something wrong with the scanner, I would lose signal. It would try to relight as it is now. And you can see on my meter that my signal is falling way down. And if I give it signal again, whoops, that was too late. It should be headed to lockout. Now if it were to see signal now without in being in pilot trial for ignition, it would still head to lockout, thinking it's seeing a false flame. There we have it. It flashes a code telling us what went wrong. So like I said earlier, the key to understanding how to diagnose your fire eye is understanding at what point in the sequence did we fail. And if we know that, then we can help you to diagnose it and fix it and get on with the running of your equipment. So please give us a call. I'm at 713-928-3181. My name is Lee and I'm with Industrial Equipment of Houston. Thank you so much and please call if you have any questions.